Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Fabrizio Romano here with all the latest. And guys, it was a crazy Friday, crazy last 24 hours. And so let's jump into 10 news this day together. And so guys, let me start with the breaking news of the night. I was waiting to release this video because I had to confirm this news, but we can say that Julian Nagelsmann will not become the new head coach of Paris Saint-Germain. Both parties, Nagelsmann and PSG, have decided together to pull out of the deal because there is no agreement on crucial details. Nagelsmann, his agents and Campos, together in a mutual decision, the, wanted to leave the conversation because there is no agreement. So after two weeks of talks, Nagelsmann is not going to become new PSG manager and PSG are already speaking to another coach. So keep an eye on them because they want to announce the new manager next week. Keep an eye on Chelsea also next week because Chelsea are expected to receive another bid for Mason Mount. Manchester United had an opening bid proposal rejected, £40 million, but they are still there. Manchester United won't make a mount. The agreement on personal terms is not a problem. And so the conversation, May United-Chelsea will continue. May United will be the gain. Mount is a priority target. And so work in progress on this deal. Expect a new proposal from Manchester United, waiting to see how much Chelsea will ask, because at the moment it's still £70 million. But of course, May United hope to close the deal for something less, maybe around £50 million. So new bid for Mount is coming. Chelsea will make an official bid for Brighton. Exclusive information we said yesterday night is that Brighton uh, midfielder Moises Caicedo is in very advanced talks to agree personal terms with Chelsea. We can say that the agreement on personal terms is almost done. 90-95% done is about final details. And now Chelsea are prepared to attack the situation with an official bid next week. So yes, Chelsea will bid and Chelsea really want Moises Caicedo. So get ready because the proposal is coming and we know it's going to be a real Really busy, busy week for Chelsea with many things happening and not just for Chelsea, also for other clubs, including Arsenal. On Chelsea, I wanted to mention one thing. I'm told that this week, in kind of secret way, one of the players uh, inquired by Chelsea. So Chelsea asked information and the moment is not a negotiation and nothing else. But Chelsea asked information for Gabri Vega, midfielder of Celta Vigo. We know he's one of the players in the list at Liverpool. So Liverpool did exactly the same a few days ago, asking for information on the player and on the release clause. Chelsea are now also informed. So both clubs wanted to know how does it work for the release clause, 40 million euros, how many years to pay the release clause, what kind of payment terms, if there is a chance to negotiate around the clause. So both Chelsea and Liverpool are now well informed on Gabri Vega, who is represented by super agent Pini Zahavi. So keep an eye also on the situation of Gabri Vega. About midfielders, guys, we heard some rumors about Nicolo Barella. It was a big, busy week around his name because we heard of Newcastle, but at the moment, Inter have not received any official bid from Newcastle. And it's also important to say about, to say about this deal uh, that Inter will not sell the player for £50 million. Pounds. This is not the case. We had rumors about Chelsea. Uh, they are informed on the player, but the reality is that Chelsea are only focused on Caicedo, at least in this moment. The full focus is on Moises Caicedo deal. Then we will see. They still have to agree with uh, Brighton. But at the moment, this is the idea at Chelsea. On Barella, I would also keep an eye on Liverpool. Because Liverpool uh, have always been following the player. Jurgen Klopp has always been a big fan of Barella. And so let's see what happens at Liverpool. We now, they are now busy with Kefran Turam, with Manu Kone, Gabri Vega. So they are, they are speaking to agents of many midfielders because they will sign at least another important midfielder this summer. But they are also informed on the situation of Nicolo Barella. Clear to say that Barella is, we know, big Inter fan, has a long-term contract at Inter, is very happy at Inter, and Inter are very happy with Barella. So when you see reports of £50 million pounds for Barella, this is almost impossible. But in case of crazy proposal, uh, we have to check and see. But at the moment, the situation is still quiet around Nicolo Barella, despite many and many rumours. I also wanted to mention something else about Chelsea, but in this case, about Arsenal too. Kai Avers. Guys, I spent the last few days telling you about Kai Avers. Uh, keep an eye on Bayern until the end because Chelsea expect other clubs to join the race and Bayern are informed. I can say tonight that Bayern have still not made any bid or activate any direct contact with Chelsea. So Chelsea and Bayern are not negotiating. But Bayern are speaking to some people close to the negotiation to be informed. So Bayern are well informed on Kai Havertz, but Arsenal are absolutely ahead at this moment. Arsenal almost agreed personal terms with the player. The player wants to go to Arsenal, so he's open to the move. But 
Arsenal made the first bid to Chelsea and it was rejected. Still no agreement. Arsenal Chelsea for Kai Avers, but Arsenal will return, conversations will continue and Arsenal want Avers. Arsenal want Avers and Rice. So the conversation for both players will continue in the next days for both top targets for Arsenal. Mentioning some striker also, guys. For Colomani, we heard in the last 24 hours about PSG, but guys, I'm told this is not a top priority for Paris Saint-Germain in this moment, and we have to, to keep an eye on Victor Osiman for PSG. Already told you a few days ago, and I keep saying that Victor Osiman is one of the players they have in the list at PSG. So let's see, because it's not an easy deal, 150 million uh, euros value for Napoli for Victor Osiman, but PSG really appreciate the player. For Lautaro Martinez, guys, at the moment I'm not aware of any bid or approach uh, from Chelsea for uh, Lautaro, a lot of rumors, but at the moment I'm not aware of any concrete negotiation or talk around Lautaro Martinez. Let's see, guys, it's still June, it's still early, so we have to wait and uh, see. I also wanted to mention something on fullbacks because Kyle Walker could leave Manchester City this summer. This is a concrete possibility. And Bayern want him. So this is true. Kyle Walker and Bayern is a concrete possibility. Juventus are focusing on Timothy Castagna from Leicester. Uh, 15 million uh, euros price tag. Juventus are well informed. Good relationship with the player side. The player is keen on the move. So Juve are interested in Timothy Castagna. Let's see what happens because we heard about Arsenal. But at the moment, Arsenal have different priorities, as I told you. Declan Rice and Kai Avers. No concrete negotiations at this stage for Timothy Castagna. Juventus, yes, so let's see who's gonna win this race for uh, Timothy Castagna. And then I wanted to complete this big round of news with Dani Ceballos, really close to extend his contract with Real Madrid. He's almost done until June 2026. Three year deal. So Ceballos and Nacho will sign new contracts. And then Dejan Kulusevski. Juventus and Tottenham have an agreement. Tottenham had a buy option into the contract for Kulusevski, 35 million euros, but Tottenham managed to get a discount on the Dejan Kulusevski deal. 30 million euros and non 35. So agreement in place. Juventus Tottenham contracts are being prepared. Kulusevski signs until June 2027 at Tottenham and so done deal. Here we go. And so guys, many news as you can see today, many things to discuss. Let me know your opinion on all these stories, uh, but for sure many things happened on the market starting with uh, Julian Nagelsmann, but also Mesa Mount, Gabri Vega and many other things. So let me know your opinion guys. Hit in the comments, remember to like this video, turn on the notification bell, subscribe to the channel, and see you soon with Fabrizio. Ciao.